The more scientists study this newly discovered interstellar object, the stranger it seems to become. And a mysterious visitor is on its way to Earth, moving closer, 137,000 miles per hour. Is it an alien ship, a comet? Scientists and researchers are left puzzled. Right now, it's racing through our solar system at an incredible speed of about 61 kilometers per second relative to the sun, making it the fastest moving object in our neighborhood. At the moment, it's about 2.56 astronomical units from the sun, which means it's already well inside Jupiter's orbit. The object is on its way to perihelion, the closest point to the sun, which it will reach in late October 2025. Surprisingly, scientists discovered that this new interstellar object came from the Sagittarius constellation, the very same patch of sky where mysterious radio signals have been detected before. One of the most famous of these is the WOW signal, a strong and unexplained radio burst first picked up in 1977. The interesting fact is that three eye atlases arriving from that same direction has caught everyone's attention. But wait, recently, the object has begun to show some unusual behavior and strange properties, prompting some scientists to take it much more seriously. They've said that we'll need to keep a close watch on it with our most powerful telescopes when it makes a close approach to Mars on October 3rd, 2025. Let me now tell you about some recent findings about this object which raised the question of whether this object is really natural. A fast-moving object, the size of Manhattan, is hurtling towards our solar system. Comet, asteroid, or something else. Astrophysicists believe there's a strong likelihood this is a craft of alien origin. When scientists recently used the very large telescope in Chile to study 3i Atlas, they noticed something very strange in its gas cloud. Normally, when cosmic rocks or dust get heated by the sun, they release iron and nickel together. That's because both elements are born in stars and supernova explosions, and they are almost always mixed in cosmic material. If dust starts turning into gas, you should see both iron and nickel lines in the spectrum. But in this strange interstellar object, scientists detected nickel gas clearly, while iron gas was missing. That's highly unusual, it raises the question, why is nickel showing up alone? Could something be releasing nickel selectively while somehow keeping iron locked away? Well, that's not the only oddity. The telescope also picked up cyanide in the gas plume around the comet. Now, cyanide isn't rare in comets, but what caught scientists' attention was the pattern. As the object got closer to the sun, the amount of both nickel and cyanide shot up very steeply. Normally, Comets behave in a predictable way. Ices warm up, they start to sublimate, which means they turn straight from solid to gas, and the gas production increases at a steady rate. But with 3 i Atlas, the rise was far too sharp, much faster than the ice warms and evaporates model predicts. This means something unusual is going on. It doesn't behave like a typical comet, simply shedding gas as it heats. Instead, the data hint at a different release mechanism something beyond the usual story of ices melting in sunlight. Harvard professor Avi Lowe suggests that the strange gas signature from 3i Atlas might not be natural at all. It could point to something made with technology. He also points out that modern engineering often uses special metallic coatings or strong adhesives. Under the extreme heat of the sun, these materials could release nickel or cyanide gases in ways that natural comets normally don't. Adding to the mystery, scientists have also found an unusually large amount of carbon dioxide coming from the object. According to Avi Loeb, this extra CO2 could fit the idea of an industrial or engineered origin, since it doesn't match the typical behavior of ordinary comets. But that's not the only strange thing about this object. Recently, scientists noticed signs that it might actually be producing its own light something completely unexpected for a comet-like body. You now say, this is not only an alien spaceship, but it's nuclear-powered. Why are you saying that? First, I should say that if the light that we observe from this object is reflection of sunlight, its size needs to be bigger than Manhattan Island. Another strange thing about this object 
is its remarkably precise path through our solar system, a trajectory so rare that it stands out as highly unusual compared to typical space rocks. Most interstellar objects enter at random angles, but this one is different. Its path lies almost perfectly in the same flat plane that the planets orbit in. The ecliptic, that kind of alignment, is incredibly rare. And it's not just a coincidence. This angle would actually allow a flyby path that brings it closer to multiple planets, almost like a planned route. It's similar to how we designed the trajectory of our Voyager spacecraft to pass by several planets for study. The most important point is that, throughout its journey, this object will never come near Earth. And interestingly, when it makes its closest approach to the Sun, Earth will actually be on the opposite side of the Sun, keeping us far away from its path. And looking at this, some scientists have suggested that we should carefully watch its path as it comes closest to the Sun. It might behave in an unexpected way, like changing its route or trajectory, which could possibly hint at some kind of unnatural mechanism at work with this object. This unusual and highly precise path raises the possibility that the object isn't just a natural comet at all, but perhaps something more like a Voyager-type spacecraft, deliberately designed to look like a comet, blending in with the cosmic background while traveling through space. Also, it came from one of the most mysterious regions of space, the same direction from which strange radio signals have been detected for decades. Looking at the strange behavior of this object and its unusually rare trajectory, some scientists have suggested that if another civilization wanted to explore our solar system, this is exactly how they might do it. Slip in quietly, while appearing to be just another natural visitor. This idea connects to the dark forest hypothesis. It suggests that if advanced civilizations do exist, they might choose to explore silently, hiding behind natural-looking appearances like comets or asteroids, and carefully planning their movements to avoid detection. Not because they're hostile, but because they understand the risks of being seen in a possibly dangerous universe. Scientists are planning to observe this new interstellar visitor when it will pass very close to Mars on October 3, 2025. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which carries the powerful high-rise camera, is expected to try capturing images of the object. The camera could show details as small as about 30 kilometers per pixel, which, though not sharp enough to see small features, will still provide valuable information. This can make it clear whether the object produces its own light or not. Scientists are excited because this might be the first time an interstellar object is imaged from another planet. Other spacecraft such as NASA's Psyche mission and ESA's JUICE probe might also get close enough in late 2025 to observe it. Well, this isn't the first time we've come across a mysterious visitor from beyond our solar system. Back in 2017, we detected the first known interstellar object, Umamua. At first, it seemed like just a strange elongated asteroid passing through, but later observations revolved odd behavior like unexplained acceleration and no visible tail, which didn't match what we know about comets or asteroids. Despite these strange signs, most of the scientific community dismissed it, assuming it must be natural. By the time some scientists, including Evie Loeb, raised the possibility that it might be something artificial or at least unusual, it was already too late to observe it properly. It had sped past Earth and was already on its way out of the solar system. That moment in many ways was a missed opportunity. Now, with free Atlas, we have a second chance. It's displaying its own set of unexplained behaviors. And this time, we know better than to ignore it. If you enjoyed the video and want to support our work, you can do so by clicking super thanks. Thanks so much for watching and a huge thank you to our channel members for your continued support. See you in the next video.